Hi guys. Today is May 13th. It's one o'clock in the morning, my time. I am on here because um, I, I got something pretty encouraging that I want to say. I was in deep prayer and I started getting this, this feeling, like I can't describe it, like something. I get intuitions. I guess that's my gift. I always get these gut feelings something bad's going to happen. And within two weeks, it's like my gut feeling does not go away until what I've been shown in my intuition comes true. Well, my gut feeling this time, what I've been led in my spirit is the financial collapse, okay? I'm not saying to stock up. That's not what I'm saying. Because as I said, you can stock up all you want, but it's just going to get taken away. Um during the tribulation. I was sitting here praying and I'm like I started thinking, all right, all the malls and stuff, the their stores are closing. You got Walmart's closing, you got Sears and Kmart's and all these other places that's closing down and I know it's going to be because of FEMA camps. Um there's been like me, what I do for a living, I'm a flea marketer. I buy and sell um in bulk. Um, and I've done this for like 14 years, but the buying in bulk has been like the past five. Um, and something in my spirit was just like, wait a minute, I'm over here trying to sell stuff, right? And nothing is selling, like nothing. And it's never been this dead. Like I've been going through, I'm on like 115 sites and I've posted all my stuff. I have no comments. I don't have anybody wanting to buy stuff. And it's just like, and I'm looking at what everybody else posts. Nobody's selling stuff either. It's harder and harder and harder. Now, my husband's a mechanic. Okay. And he flips cars or he'll junk them and he'll sell the, um, we save all like the alternators, starters, aluminum rims, batteries, and converters and things like that because that's how we make a good you know our, our bills and junk is going down to the point where he's even having trouble and we started talking and he said if I have to I'll, I'll get a job I'm like no God's going to provide he always has and always will and right then I'm just like I felt like this weird feeling and I had a vision to where I, and I remember because I had this dream, but my, my vision was the dream that I had. Um, and it was the rapture took place while well, I was sitting next to my husband and I was like shot straight out the window. And I had this feeling of this, like, like my soul's leaving my body or something. All right. It's hard to explain. So then. The first thing I'm like, okay, God, I know the rapture is about to take place. And I got a message from a brethren and he feels, you know, by like the 14th or whatever, we're going to be out of here. I do not know the day or hour. I am going to say this one thing. Jesus knew exactly when he was going to die. He knew the day. He knew the hour that the people were coming to get him the soldiers. He knew Judas was going to betray him. He knew that um, before the rooster crowed three times that, what is it, Peter would deny him. So if he knew that and Jesus and God are one, there's nothing that's going to happen that Jesus doesn't know because Jesus is, is God in the flesh. Okay. Because God's so big, he physically cannot come to our earth. It would destroy us all because of his brightness. Okay. So he had to create his son and his son is, does his work. Okay. There's nothing that Jesus doesn't know because he's God. God and Jesus are one. Okay. Now, having said that, I was also led, like I said, after prayer, I'm trying to do my study 
And I'm just like, I don't even know where to read. And this is what I, I found. Song 2, 10 to 13. Song of Solomon's. My beloved spoke and said to me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. Woo-wee! The flowers appear on the earth. The time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth her green figs, and the vines with the tender grapes give a good smell. Rise up, my my love, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. And led me to Jeremiah eight seven. Even the stork in the heaven knows her appointed times. Okay. And this is broke down by a semicolon, which means it's a two-part, but yet is continuous to the first part. And the turtle dove, the swift, and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people do not know the judgment of the Lord. God specifically said 70 years. He's spoken to Daniel through Gabriel, the angel, that we were given, the Jews were given 70 years years now i'm going to read you just these last two things and i'll end okay um they they a lot of people are saying oh the rapture can't happen until the fullness of the gentiles well i'm going to read you just something short um which i could always leave a link or whatever if you want more information about it okay it's confounded with the fullness of the gentiles spoken of by paul in romans eleven twenty five, 25 the fullness of the gentile excuse me, refers to the Gentiles that are gathered out to make up the church and the blindness in part will continue among the Jews until the fullness, the whole number of the elect of the Gentiles become in. Then the church is called out and the Jews restored to their land, their own land. The fullness of the Gentiles began at Pentecost and ends seven years before the times of the Gentiles end. And the, the times of the Gentiles are fully outlined in the book of Daniel. Like I said, I do not know the day or hour. Pentecost is June, what, 9th and 10th? Okay, and 70 years ends. Okay, as Jesus said, that's when... They're going to be judged and God's going to bring them back to captivity and they're going to be following the anti-Messiah and all this other mumbo jumbo. Okay, this is how close we are to going home. The 77s are divided into three separate units. Seven sevens, which is 62 sevens and one seven. During the first time, which is 49 years, Jerusalem would be built again with street and moat even in troublous times. The second block of time, which is 62 sevens, a total of 434 years, immediately followed the first for a total of 69 sevens, or 483 years. Okay, it is at this point that we are told what the ending point is of the 69 sevens, okay, unto Messiah the Prince, which you know is the Antichrist, because Jesus already came back and fulfilled the first part, okay? Um, he came, died, and rose again. As clearly as Daniel could have stated it, he taught that 483 years after the decree to rebuild Jerusalem had been issued, Messiah would be here on earth, okay? Which, obviously, Jesus fulfilled the first part. The second part is when the Antichrist comes, okay, to rule for his time. And then the ending, okay, to the fullness of the Gentiles, okay, is at the end of the tribulation, okay, when all the rest of the Gentiles come in, okay. If you are the church, you've got the church of Christ, the, 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 the church, okay, which is consisted of Jews and Gentiles. And then you have outside of that, you have the Jews. And if you are not a Jew, you're considered a Gentile. Okay, and that's what it's talking about because the church 
is the Jews and Gentiles together. It's like three separate points. Okay, because there's going to be a time for the Jews completely by themselves. And then there's going to be a time for the rest of the Gentiles to come in before Jesus Christ steps foot back on earth with us. So I hope this is encourages you. Jesus is coming. Okay, like really soon. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be the 15th. It could be the 19th. And the 19th actually... And through the 20th is second Passover. It's the second month. What, what is it? IR. The 14th or 15th day of IR. Okay. Mm. And Jesus said, I shall not pass by you anymore. So 70 years ends. And then Pentecost is in three weeks. There's so much going on right now. The collapse is right around the corner, everything, but nothing's going to happen until the rapture occurs. Okay? So, um, please pray over this as always. And get ready, because Jesus is coming. 